SmartCard 63 Ampere S0 AUS0 Installation Video. This video shows how to install the SmartCard. A battery and a single phase inverter must be equipped. Before installation, open the package. Ensure that all items are complete. Prepare the cables. The owner confirms that home appliances are classified into backup loads and non-backup loads. Let's start from the grid. Connect the grid AC power cable to the main circuit breaker and then to the grid AC output port of the smart card. Connect the classified loads through the smart card. Ensure that the marking off template is horizontally level. Mark the four mounting holes using the marking off template. Install expansion bolts. Secure the mounting bracket to the upper two holes. Mount the smart guard on the mounting bracket. Secure the bottom using expansion bolts. Connect the PE cable to the single phase smart card first. Connect the PE cable to the ground bar. Use the delivered key to unlock the door. Open the maintenance compartment door and remove the cushioning material. Keep the four switches off. Remove the screw from the maintenance compartment cover and remove the cover. These are the ports of the smart guard. Start from the single phase smart guard. Connect AC power cables to the grid. inverter, backup loads and non-backup loads. Connect the EMMA signal cables to the router and charger. Connect the smart card signal cable to the inverter. Then install the grid AC output power cable. Prepare the grid AC output power cable. Remove the grid AC output port. Route the grid AC output power cable through the locking cap and then the waterproof rubber plug. Connect the cord and terminals to the smart guard correctly and securely. Tighten the grid AC output port. Connect the other end of the AC output power cable to the grid. Install the inverter AC input power cable in the same way as installing the grid AC output power cable. Connect the inverter AC input power cable to the smart card. Connect the inverter AC input power cable. Tighten the waterproof rubber plug and locking cap for the inverter AC input power cable. Connect the other end to the inverter AC output. Install the backup load output power cable in the same way as installing the grid AC output power cable. Connect the backup load output power cable. Tighten the waterproof rubber plug and locking cap. Connect the other end to the RCD for backup loads. Install the non-backup load output power cable.
connect the cable securely. Tighten the non-backup load port. Connect the signal cable of the smart card. Crimp cord end terminals for the signal cable. Route the signal cable through the locking cap and then the waterproof rubber plug. Connect the signal cable of the smart card. Tighten the communications port. Connect the EMA signal cable. Prepare FE communications cables for the WAN and LAN ports. Strip the heat pump control signal cable. Route the signal cables through the locking cap and then the waterproof rubber plug. Connect the FE communications cables to the WAN and LAN ports. If there is one charger, connect the charger to the EMA directly through FE or to the router through FE or WLAN. If there are two chargers, connect the chargers to the router through FE or WLAN. Do not connect one charger to the EMA and the other charger to the router. Connect the heat pump control signal cable. Tighten the communications port. Bind cables. Install the maintenance compartment cover. Turn on the switch before closing the maintenance compartment door. Close the door of the maintenance compartment. Lock the smart card. The smart card is powered on with normal main supply. The indicators are steady green, indicating that the smart card and inverter are running in on-grid mode. Power on loads. Scan the QR code and the smart card to create a plan. The smart card is powered on when a mains outage occurs. The yellow indicators are steady on, indicating that the inverter and smart card are running in off-grid mode. Power on loads. Scan the QR code and the smart card to create a plant. 